everybody and welcome back to my channel I hope everybody is doing well and today I'm going to be talking about Elvis Presley the king of rock and roll and how I got into liking Elvis Presley music him as a person and everything that he stood for and yeah so let's get into it Elvis Presley has been an interest of mine over the last six years and I got introduced to Elvis Presley's music and heritage by my auntie June as a lot of you know who are already part of my channel, my auntie June passed away five years ago. Unfortunately, she had uh, cancer. So, yeah, it was very, very uh, instant, pretty much. So, June was an avid Elvis fan. I mean, an avid big Elvis fan. Like, she had books. She'd been to see tribute acts. She had been on a cruise to see a tribute act to Elvis. And she explained to me how special his music was, how special he was as a person, and I should start liking him. And she used to play music around me. She gave me books about him. She would talk to me constantly about Elvis. Everything was Elvis Presley this, Elvis Presley that. So, you know, I did the logical thing, and I started researching Elvis here on the YouTube platform. And I thought, you know, I'll listen to this guy, see what he's got, see what he's about. And I started slowly... Day by day by day, as more as I listened to him, I started falling in love with the music. I was just like, oh my god, totally blown away that this guy could belt out these ballads and hit people with that, such a deep impact that even for someone like myself who's young and hasn't had the really opportunity to get to know Elvis on a personal basis, but I feel that I'm connected to him through his music and what he sang about, what he stood for, and just his passion, his expression, his freedom of will, and I'm just glad my auntie June told me about Elvis when she did, because I was able to use that as the connection between me and her, and it's kind of the sole connection that I still have, it's like, yes, yeah, she introduced me to Elvis, and the fascination with dressing up, and the jewellery, and things like that, but at the same point, it's given me that connection still to have her in my heart, I know that she loved Elvis and she passed it on to me as a way for me to have that special interest and that friendship. So time slowly went by over the five, six years that she's been gone. And one of the last things that we did with June before she sadly passed away was we went to see an Elvis tribute local in her area, local in my area. And I'd heard of him, I knew who he was, but wasn't entirely sure what he was about or how long he'd been doing it. So we met up at a social club to celebrate June's birthday before she said he died a few days later and his name is Andy and Andy Ollie is a local Suffolk, uh, local area um, to my hometown Elvis Tribute Act and Andy's been doing this for a very, very long time, very, very high standard, very, very high professional, can't say enough about the guy, love him to death, his family, him and his wife Nikki are considered family. Very, very excellent people. They support me. They encourage me. They strengthen me. They're very, very nice people to be around. And yeah, June introduced me to Elvis. So when I got to meet Andy, it kind of reminded me that I have that special connection still with my Auntie June, regardless if she's not physically any here anymore. The fact that I can listen to Elvis when I want to, and I can listen to him here on the YouTube, or I can go to put my local Elvis tribute act. So when I listen to Elvis, it kind of brings back all the happiness with my auntie and what she stood for, how she helped make a change in my life and make me a positive person. And I think that's come across in my personality, hopefully. And the fact she introduced me to a decade of music where I wasn't even born. Or So for me, I've had to go through, oh, who is this guy? Who is Elvis? Like, what did he sound for? What was his personality? And... As over the time I've got to understand how Elvis is, I found out that he has taught me severe life lessons that I need to learn through his music. I felt peace, I felt love, warmth, and I think that's because of how my auntie made it come across and how she loved Elvis was such a deep love that literally she had books, she had all his albums, she had poster pictures, like she was obsessed, Elvis, avid Elvis fan, like oh my god like she had all the jewelry similar to me i think that's where my interest has come from because i've learned to support elvis and understand the music and 
actually have something that binds me to my auntie you know she's not physically here i still can feel her in my heart i know that she's still with me and i know that i'm forever grateful that she's introduced me to the, the period the generation of the elvis era and still to this day elvis is still able to relate to many young people like myself who are very unaware of what he did but i kind of had that soul connection with my auntie now through the elvis music so uh yeah so june gave me a local elvis tribute that i watch and who i follow admiry and i've been following him ever since so yeah i thought i would talk through some elvis facts um now that i've shared the little personal story with you i'm sorry that was a little bit long but i want you to know why i like elvis so much and for many people i know on the spectrum have special interests so for me it's become one of my main passions one of my main hobbies is to go out to the elvis tribute act dress up like you see now i'm in an elvis dress and i have my elvis choker necklace on which i don't usually wear chokers but i love this one so yeah let's get into the elvis presley facts shall we so elvis was known as the king of rock and roll as many people already know he was born to parents Vernon and Gladys. He was born on January the 8th, 1935. He was born in Mississippi in a town called Tupelo. Tupelo, I don't know how that's pronounced, but he was educated at Humes High School. He had a brother that was still born called Jesse that was born 35 minutes before him. He attended the Assembly of God Church with his family Vernon, his father, was of German and Scottish descent, and his mother, Glad his mother Gladys, was Scottish and Irish of descent. Elvis's first ever performance was on October 3rd, 1945. Then he was a budding 10-year-old at the Mississippi-Alabama Fair. He dressed as a cowboy. Elvis and his family moved to Memphis in 1948, when Elvis was only 13. Elvis received his first guitar at age 11. His music career began in 1954 at Sun Records with producer Sam Phillips. He then released Heartbreak Hotel in January 1956 and became a hit within a year. He then married Priscilla in 1967. He served in the US military of the, of the rank of sergeant from 1958 to 1960. He served in the 32nd Armour Regiment. In November 1956, Elvis made a film called Love Me Tender. In 1968, he came back after a seven year gap from public talks and public performing with his comeback special named Elvis. Elvis Presley played guitar, bass, and piano. In the 1960s, the circle of friends that Elvis became known and associated with became known as the Memphis Mafia up until his death. Elvis's hairdresser was called Larry Geller, who was his hairdresser. Elvis and his hairdresser were often interested in spiritual questions and spiritual missions, which his hairdresser gave him many books upon to read, which Elvis was often seen taking on his tours. Elvis's earliest musical influence came from gospel music. Presley had not received any formal musical training, he could not read any sheet music and studied it all by ear. He is regarded as one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century. He also won the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award at the age of 36 and has been inducted into several music halls of fame. He also holds the RIAA Gold and Platinum albums and had the most number one singles hit in the UK charts. Elvis died on August 16, 1977 at the age of 42. He died of heart failure. His resting place is Graceland. Elvis kept many horses at Graceland. His favourite horse was called Palomino Rising Sun. So I hope you've liked what I've read about Elvis. I will attach the facts down below in the video description. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.